Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark. I'm here with Steve in the studio today. Surprise, surprise. How you doing? Good. I'm awesome. doing great. So we're going to talk about Final Cut Pro 10 and specifically about exporting, right? Yes. I've gotten a lot of email where people are saying, why can't you batch export in Final Cut Pro 10? And by batch exporting, you mean take multiple projects and export them all basically at once. That's right. Right now, the conventional workflow is to take your project, send them to the compressor, where you actually have a uh, batch window, a, a queue, as it were, okay. to send all your uh, stuff out to the various target destinations, delivery mediums. Um, you can do it in Final Cut, and that's a cool thing. I'm going to show you in this episode, you can, in fact, batch export in Final so Cut So people Pro. think you cannot do this in that's Final right. Cut, that you have to use compressor, but you actually can do it in Final Cut. In fact, as we go through, we have some specific advantages for doing it in Final Cut that, don't, that you don't have in Compressor, as cool. you'll see as we go All right, through this. let's go. All right, so here we are in uh, Final Cut Pro, and before we do anything else, um, I want to take a trip to the Preferences window, so I'm going to press Command, Comma. And I use Compressor a lot, and I can see there's no Compressor icon here by default, so I need to add that as a destination. Because there's no Compressor destination there. Right, and I've created my own custom preset in Compressor. And you can access it by grabbing this icon, dragging into the sidebar, and it asks you, okay, what, well, what custom preset do you want to use? So that window lists all the built-in presets that are already in Compressor and any ones that you've created in the past show up there as well. Right, and that's a, the value of Compressor. You can create these unique presets and they show up in the custom folder. Okay. So I'm going to choose one of my favorite ones, my 1080 X264 Compressor. I'm just going to click OK. Notice it adds it as a destination. And that will appear in the Share menu once you're in the timeline or in, in Final Cut Pro proper. Okay. So here's the here's the one thing I want to show you. This is key, and this will save you a ton of time. Here's it. This key. Okay. If you control click, control or right click on the icon, you'll have an option that says make default. Now uh, this is okay. what's great about this. You're going to want to do this because you'll see in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. When you go to the share menu, you'll notice that default is the shortcut Command E. Right. Right. So rather than Rather than needing to go click either in the share menu there or to the right on the on the inspector yeah. uh, on the toolbar there, you can just hit Command E. Yep, and and very very quickly. So okay. I've assigned the shortcut to this compressor preset. Okay. Now here's where it gets fun. Well, let's say I'm, I want to output that and uh, output it to using that compressor uh, preset. So I'm just going to press Command E. So you selected the project that you want to export, Command E. Right, and then it brings up the the export window. And you can look at the settings, and you can see that it's got the compressor preset there. And then I just go next. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder for this. I'm going to call this, um, this is a short film. I'm going to call this uh, Second Impressions um, Exports. Okay? And I'll click Create. So that folder is targeted. I click Save, and it's compressing. And we know that because of. Uh, because it's exporting. We, it's exporting. But here's the thing because I have a shortcut, I can now select this one and go. Command D. Can I just click next? And it's already it's targeting it's that already, folder. Already click save. Save. Select the next one. Command mm -hmm. D. And here you can really just hit. Can you hit just hit return instead of clicking on the next button? Hit return. And hit return again. Hit return. And here's the beauty mark. When I open up uh -huh. the background tasks window and open up the sharing disclosure, you'll see that there are three projects being queued up and spit out. So it's basically batch exporting. And you can keep working in Final Cut while this is going That's on. That's right. Now, this isn't, <laughs> yeah, so people are going, well, yeah, it's a lot of extra steps. Well, you still have to take a lot of steps in Compressor. You have to send it to Compressor, put in the batch window, you got to assign a preset. So this idea that it's somehow faster in Compressor to batch export is ridiculous. In my humble opinion. You, <laughs> I guess you have yes. to think about that. <laughs> exactly. But there are some but, advantages to exporting out of Final Cut as opposed to Compressor. Like what? Well, for one, if you have your sequence already rendered, Final Cut Pro will use all of those render files, and it'll be faster. When you send it to Compressor, Final Cut has to regenerate all the render files. Because uh, the Compressor isn't smart enough to know that those render files already That's right. exist. And okay, so that could save a lot of time if you've already rendered your entire project. You don't have to render all over again. Yeah, and that's a really good point. It's because the technology for share, the share technology under Final Cut is much more, I would say, robust, much more tech, uh, advanced than the share technology built into Compressor. Wow, okay. So I, I, the only disadvantage I, I could think of is that while this is exporting through Final Cut, you can continue using Final Cut, but will probably slow down the export process if you're doing a lot of editing. It, it, it potentially. could. I mean, I haven't tried this on an eight core uh, you know, Mac Pro, but 
I, I know it works. I mean, we're not going to sit here and watch these all export. Right. But when they're done, there'll be three separate movies sitting in that so folder. You, so you don't need to launch another app, and you literally just select each project, Command E, Com return, return, Command E, return, return, and you can quickly send a dozen projects I have done to a it, batch. Well, I've done it with 50. I've taken 50 projects and wow. spit them out, and it wow. just put them, put them all in the folder. It worked like a charm. And it's going. That's fabulous. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So there we are with nothing more to say, okay. except go to Ripple Training and buy our training. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and uh, follow us on Twitter at Ripple Training and check us out on Facebook, like our Facebook page. Uh, if you like this stuff, Ripple Training has got a lot more information about it. Stay tuned for our next Mac Break Studio. Thank you for watching. <laughs>